We're on a soccer field. Um, hey, whoa, 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 hey, I'm talking to you. This is Frankie to the Moon, my two year old Australian Shepherd, and oh, I'm Joey. We make videos on our weekly adventures and show you a little bit of our life, how exciting, crazy, and lazy it may be. The most common question when it comes to this breed is how much exercise do they need? <laughs> okay. This guy's crazy already. So, I figured I'd show you. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun? This is one of those days. <laughs> Today we woke up to some rain. Now, what does that mean with this guy? Normally, we would go out and jump in the rain and, and, and go crazy. But today, we are gonna do a day with zero hours of exercise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy's crazy already. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Stop. To show you guys what it's like, and down just one of those days. When it's gray outside, it really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. How come? Gets undressed when it's cold And don't they miss the leaves they left behind Could it be Oh, he's coming in hot Yes, hello, Fanko Got myself some tea Yeah, you can come on Come on No, oh, this way Yeah, get up here A lot of people say that Aussies need to exercise all day every day they're hyper 24 7. my opinion the answer is no it's not about running your dog it's not about walking your dog it's not about constantly playing with your dog it's about stimulating your dog if they have a day of absolutely nothing doing nothing they're gonna go crazy but if they have a day of quiet calm stimulation that can be through petting your dog or doing tricks or commanding them to stay and sit and relax. It is something for them to think about all up in here. Because a walk and a run is something that they're bred to do. It's just, it's not necessarily gonna tire them out. Yeah, their muscles might be sore, but up here still running so crazy. So far away, show us where we are. See this? Lost interest like that, because it's not stimulating for him. It's like whatever, he goes, grabs another toy. It's gonna be a long night. So, I'll be honest with you. If you don't exercise your dog throughout the day, you don't do anything that stimulates that brain of theirs, you get like this, you have until about four or five o'clock, or whenever you feed them dinner. Then, the crazies hit. This is the look that's gonna be looking at you for the rest of the night. This doesn't mean that you can't train them to <laughs> be a little bit different. He's trying to hurt me there. To be a little bit different, what do you expect with the breed? They need, they need something to do every day. I'm not proud of what I'm doing right now. Today, I'm not proud of it, but we needed a break today. I'm just trying to eat. It is now 9 p.m. and you think he'd be kind of getting tired. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> like, I can't stress this enough. This breed needs something to do every day. This man looks crazy.
So first exercise is gonna be a nice morning run for about for about an hour. <laughs> if he lasts. I always go by him. Alexa, can dogs eat strawberries? Here's something I found on reference.com. Although their ancestors were primarily carnivores, Alexa, dogs today are, are strawberries okay for dogs? Here's something I found on the web. I don't want that answer. Guide.com. Yes, dogs can eat strawberries. Thank you. It's yes. The answer, I knew that. I'd be surprised if he eats us. How is he chewing so much and it's not going anywhere? <laughs> I feel like he'd like the flavor, like it's sweet. Have you fed him sweet stuff before? Have you fed him sweet stuff before? Don't zoom in on my face early this <laughs> So it's post run with Franks and he got some strawberries and Angelica's making some, some pancakes, except it's post run. So she's making protein pancakes. And so for reference, it is 10.20 right now. And Frankie and I usually get up around, what do you say we get up? Like around like 8, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. So we get up then and then he goes outside. He hasn't been wanting to touch the grass lately because he didn't no, want to get his paws he dirty. Strawberries. He wants more strawberries. And then we kind of just usually have a chill morning because I usually get a lot of work done. But today we just decided to go for a run so I can show you what it's like for him getting, uh, getting a lot of hours of exercise in. And he's just like a totally different dog. He listens better, he eats better, he sleeps better. I think it's mainly because he feels fulfilled. Now, post run, post eating, we're just gonna take advantage of quiet Frankie and uh, have a nice little chill and then we'll go out. And every single time I click the record on this camera, he knows and he gets excited. But we're gonna try and rest a little bit and then we'll go back out. Now, it is time. What are you doing? <laughs> this is so dirty. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't know. We don't know. I don't know. But now it is time Rock for a second roll. activity. We had to take a brief intermission because the the plumber came to fix our washer and dryer because we haven't had a washer and dryer in our new house for like two months, two three months maybe. I'm not doing the math. I'm excited to get out of here. <coughs> What the? He just keeps going around me. So today we are alongside the road. We're on a soccer field. Um, hey, whoa, 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 hey, I'm talking to you. We're on the soccer field. And uh, this is probably the last time we'll be able to let him off leash here. A lot of people let their dogs off, off leash where we are. Haha. <laughs> You got the leash, that means you got poop scoop. Sucka! There is a nice little cop in the parking lot, so we'll see if he is having a good day or not. There's no one here, so we're gonna play some, uh, some Fizbo. Oh, crap. I think, I think he heard me. I also wanna make a video soon talking about Frankie's jobs that I give him, because he is a working breed, um, so he likes to, you know, like herd sheep and stuff, and we don't have any sheep out here, really. But one of Frankie's jobs is actually filming. Like once I turn on the camera, you know, he like actually just like thinks he's an actor. <laughs> it's true though. Like he's always ready for the camera. He's always looking good. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, can we play? Some yeah, can we play some Fizzball? Okay, okay, okay. Let me put on tripod. So we get a lot of questions about what Frisbees we use. The first one is the Kong rubber for Frisbee. I like this because especially in Canada, it doesn't freeze and it doesn't break his teeth and it's rubber and it can bend and everything and, and he loves it the most because he just goes crazy over it. So he's gone. Oh, Andy, wow, nice catch. And then this one we just got, which is the Jaws Frisbee, which this is actually like a professional dog disc Frisbee. Um, and it's amazing, it's a little flexible, but once it gets a little too cold, then it's it's not the best. And it, and it makes his cheek bleed. 
Yeah, because it got too cold, it made his tongue bleed because he bit it. <laughs> However, it does go further. But as you can see, he didn't get it. He loves this. And it looks like he has lips. Definitely be doing a review on the Jaws Frisbees, which are the professional ones, because those were sent to us. He just really loves the red one. But that's only if I have both of them out. If I just have the yellow one out, the Jaws one, he loves it. If I have this one out, he loves it, so. I'd have to say that frisbee is one of the things that like truly gets him purely exhausted because it's stimulating. Did you not see those moves? I saw that throw. Angelica did the between the legs and around, and then her throw was. Uh, yeah, I want to see. Oh. Ah, you don't move my legs fast enough for him to I think. Uh, I think it's my turn. So how long do we do this? We probably do this for about, it, it's really dependent on the weather outside, it's dependent on the wind, uh, also how much water we bring for him. So it's probably like between 30 minutes to an hour. Today's pretty nice out, so we'll probably do an hour. And so we have two hours of exercise. Let's see how he sleeps tonight. Okay, run, go, go, we, we get lost him. Oh no, he's coming back. So now we are headed to Bruce Pit, which isn't far from where we were. It's also not far from where we live, so that's why we go there the most, which is kind of ironic. We made the video like going to the most aggressive dog park in Ottawa, aggressive dog park, and now it's like the dog park we go to the most just because it's so convenient and close to us. But honestly, it's it's not that bad. Go back and watch that video because you'll know what I talked about in it. But look at Frankie. <laughs> He's exhausted, or he seems like he's exhausted, but he just needs to catch his breath, and he's going to be back at it. These dogs are so smart. We waited. I had to delete a few clips off the SD card because we ran out of storage and Frankie thinks that like he's looking around right now because he thinks that somebody else is here like either Macy, Layla, Levi, anybody and I don't know who he's looking for but it's not us. <laughs> So now we're at the park. We usually stay at the park for about one to two hours, which seems like a long time, but we don't really go to the parks where you just stand there. And so that's one hour of like running, one hour of Frisbee, and then two hours of of this. Yeah, that's not bad. And then probably a walk later tonight or uh, to get some groceries or like a coffee shop. We'll see what we're feeling. But right now we're gonna be at like three, three and a half hours type of deal. And just so everybody knows that this is not like an everyday thing where we go out and do three to four hours of exercise. Um, there's days, <laughs> there's days where we only do. Oh, I'm stepping on his paw. Oh. Oopsies. Sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, give me butt scratches. But there's days where we literally go out for maybe one to two hours, like just the dog park. And then there's days where we don't do anything because it's raining outside. All depends. It all depends on 
what he's feeling, what the weather's like, if he gets enough bum scratches. <laughs> Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back to Oh my goodness, Frankie just ran all the way over there because those are his friends. Those are his Aussie friends. We were just talking about that too, eh? Yeah. That's so funny. Hi! There's Shadow, that's actually Frankie's brother. They're saying hi right now. This pixel, hi. That was such like a happy coincidence. And it's so weird how Frankie like was sniffing around cause he thought he, like somebody was there when we first got here. But and next they, thing you they, know. They said they didn't come till later. No, I know, but it was just funny. Like an Ozzy just jumped out. Of, look at behind us. Oh, oh it kind of looks like Macy. Yeah. But it's not. Cute. But anyways, just super funny coincidence. And it was cool to see like Frankie's brother. It was so funny. We were just like walking and I was like, wait. That's, we know them. Yeah. And then Frankie started bolting. And then I was like, oh yeah, there's Mob, there's everyone. Yeah, he hasn't had a big reaction to seeing his litter mates in a while, but today was a bit different, which was kind of cool to see. Yeah. But now we're just gonna go back and, I thought it was 6 p.m. It's not. Yeah, Joey keeps it's talking two. about dinner. So we're gonna go back, have a nice little chill rest time, maybe a little walk later. Perfect example that if you exercise your dog, they're pretty chill. <laughs> He's pretty sleepy. And normally, like, he would not do this. Remember the footage from when he didn't have any exercise? <laughs> he was just crazy. This is him not crazy. Thanks, Franco. And now we are going on our, probably the final walk of the day. It's the final walk of the day. It is. Yeah, we all had some good snoozes. It is now 546. The sun's starting to go down and we'll probably go walk. We'll be out here for probably like an hour or so. Um, and yeah, good day. So I think the important thing to note is that each dog and each lifestyle comes with certain hours of exercise and time you gotta get it out. Like Angelica has, <laughs> Frankie's chasing duck. Angelica has Indy and Indy can kind of last like all day, not getting out. She gets a little angsty, but like nothing compared to Frankie. At the start of Frankie's life, I took him out like every day. Frank's this way. I took him out every day. That's his routine because that matched my lifestyle. Your lifestyle at first was you were working a job, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it was more like shorter walks. You know, like in the morning, we'd go to the park, which is like a short walk away, and then like like spend some time in the park, you know? Yeah. But it was like, it's Nothing like a neighborhood park. Nothing compared to what we it's did today. Like, yeah, it's not like going to like, now I feel like because of my job, I'm able to like take time out of the day and be like, okay, now we're going to like an actual like Conroy pit or like somewhere like nice, like a trail. Yeah. That's like a few hours or whatever, or like an hour. Yeah. But my point is Instead that of, yeah. each dog and each person has a different lifestyle, needs certain things and... Frankie, this way. <laughs> oh, nice it. <laughs> all in all, if you can't get your dog out for three to four hours of exercise, that's okay. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to own an Aussie. You can train and give your dog a certain routine that they're gonna be able to adapt to and, and live. Not every dog needs this. Not every dog can go without it, right? It all depends on your lifestyle. Do you have anything else to say? Nope. So what do you say, Frank? You had a good day? Yeah, it was a good day. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and turn down the turn on the bell notifications down below. And Franco, say anything, anything, any, 
Frankie's giving us the lip. See you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, wanna be, ooh, wanna be.